Hello all. We will be starting with the DSP functionalities to begin with the discussion of the DSP processes. So in general, a digital signal processing system is given like this. As we all are very much familiar, an analog signal input is, has to be sampled and then discretized and passed on to an analog to digital converter, which is then processed by a digital signal processing system and then the digital signal is again converted back into an analog signal, reconstructed using a reconstruction filter and finally an analog signal is obtained. So having this as the general idea, the hard core of implementation of all DSP applications is the DSP processor. So when we have a look into the perspective of any digital signal processing problem, it will arise starting from the application or thrust areas. We see the major thrust areas of uh, uh, DSP are medical, radar, speech, seismic and image to name a few. So any problem for which a solution has to be obtained is identified and the theoretical analysis and the basic functionality of this particular application is obtained and an algorithm to provide a solution for the particular problem pertaining to the application is obtained. So this algorithm has to be finally implemented onto an hardware. So this hardware implementation of DSP algorithms can be done through various options. The fundamental option that comes to our mind is to the implementation of a normal computer system. But however, due to varied reasons, a normal computer system will not be suitable for the implementation of these. A dedicated implementation hardware such as a DS DSP hardware or signal processing hardware is needed to, impl to implement these DSP algorithms. So let us have just an insight into the DSP application characteristics and how the application requires mapping to the processor attributes. So we know that uh, for any specific application or for a range of application, there are varied requirements. The application will uh, have will support real-time processing. It needs to process large array of data. The algorithm will be highly intensive and then the system flexibility. In order to match all these application, the processor attributes should be in such a manner that to process real-time data, it should have high speed and high throughput. And in order to uh, process a large array of data, the instructions should be such that it is uh, efficient enough to remove and process large data arrays. To process algorithm intensive operations, the ad processor should be support to a fast mathematical computations. And then in order to match with the system flexibility, the processor should be in general programmable so that it can be used for varied applications. So these are the basic DSP application characteristics based on which any DSP processor can be developed. So a DSP processor general features are it has to cater to the high arithmetic demands. It has to support real time operation. It should be able of capturing analog input and then displaying its uh, corresponding analog output. It should support a large number of functional units for a given size and it should also be having a control logic which can take care of all these operations. The DSP requirements are the emphasis is on mathematical operations rather than data manipulation operations like word processing, database management etc. Because DSP algorithms such as FAR filter or fast Fourier transform generator or whatever may be will concentrate on mathematical operations rather than data manipulation. And also the processor should support a real time that is input signal will be captured continuously and as it gets captured the output signal should also be produced continuously. To obtain all these or to match all these DSP requirements a dominant mathematical operation that is required for a DSP processor is a multiply and accumulate unit in which separate inputs are obtained in parallel. So in the consecutive video, 
we will be seeing about the mac unit in detail thank you